Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For today's Excel Quick Trainer, we are going to discuss a brief history of spreadsheets. This is video number one of a planned playlist of training videos for Excel. The target audience is science students to get you up to speed on Excel quickly. First up, a brief history of spreadsheets. For thousands of years, civilizations have had accounting records, but in 1494, Luca Uftacchioli wrote a 27-page treatise on bookkeeping entitled Details for Calculation and Recording. Centuries passed, manual paper forms, manual workbooks, and manual processes all improved. Then in 1969, the first electronic spreadsheet named Landpar was created on a mainframe. Another decade rolled by, and in 1979, Dan Bricklin released VisiCalc. It was the first personal computer spreadsheet, and it really drove sales of Apple IIs for small businesses that were desperate for productivity gains over the paper-based accounting systems at the time. Three years later, in 1982, Microsoft rolled out MultiPlan for DOS, but that spreadsheet was lackluster and vanished within a few years. One year later, 1983, Lotus rolled out 123, Lotus 123, which dominated the DOS systems in the 1980s. I really enjoyed using Lotus 123 on the Windows platform at the end of the decade upon entering college. It was a fantastic tool. In 1985, Excel for Mac arrived on scene and it dominated that platform. Two years later, in 1987, Excel 2.0, 1.0 being Mac, 2.0 for Windows arrived and started clawing its way upward. They were trying to capture market share from Lotus 123, which was dominating. Then early in the 1990s, the spreadsheet wars exploded when Windows 3.11 for workgroups came out. I remember using Borland's Cocker Pro for about a year after Lotus 123, after I stopped using that, and I really liked it. But eventually I switched to Excel in 1991, just like everyone else would do by 1994. And then for the next 29 years, I've used Excel almost daily. What a fantastic tool. If you take one thing away from this video, it is that effort spent learning Excel has an outstanding and timeless ROI, return on investment, if you learn and use this tool. The time you put into it pays off like you wouldn't believe. Every hour I put into learning and then using Excel early in my career has paid off 10 times or better. It's just fantastic. My children's middle and high schools, and many like it I'm sure, they teach spreadsheets just like they teach typing skills because they recognize how cru crucial spreadsheets are. And to the present, more or less. In 2006, Google Sheets came on the scene. It's free. There's lots of public schools, K-12, through that use it. But when you start needing more power and advanced features in the business and scientific worlds, you still have to revert to purchasing Excel and running it on the desktop. Uh, in 2013, Excel Online, a lighter weight version, came out. And in 2019, Excel 365 is now the only release on. Next up, what is a spreadsheet? So what is a spreadsheet? Well, they were first developed to replace and automate the paper-based accounting worksheets. So spreadsheets are part table, like a paper worksheet. But spreadsheets are also part computer application or computer program because they're used for storing the data as well as running calculations on them in a tabular format. But spreadsheets are so much more. They're graphs, they're matrices, they're pretty forms. And spreadsheets apply across all industries. I said it earlier and it's worth repeating to drive the point home. Any time that you put into learning Excel tips and techniques will pay off extremely well over and over and over throughout the rest of your career. Regardless of what industry or role you take, spreadsheets are a universal app just like a word processor or email or a web search is and much like your mobile phone is. In my career, I've used Excel as a student, then as an entry-level construction project engineer for a little bit, and then as a software developer, as a software tester, as a software program manager, as a data and as a data analyst. I can't stress it enough. Spreadsheets are fantastic and you can use them all over the place to resolve all kinds of problems and communicate all kinds of ideas. Spreadsheets are fantastic. And finally, how does a spreadsheet work? So how does a spreadsheet work? Well, a spreadsheet file consists of worksheets, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Each worksheet consists of a grid and the grid has rows, row two, and columns, column B. A cell is the intersection of a row, two, and a column B, so B2, B2, this is a cell. And in the cell is data. And the data in the cell consists of either a text value or a numeric value. In this case, the value two is numeric, but it could be ABC or hello world. It could be text in a sentence in the cell as well. But data also consists of a formula or a function right up here. Cell B2 has a formula slash function. 
And there's also formatting that we'll discuss later. Old, italic, red, blue, font, background, black, white, yellow, whatever. There's lots of formatting that you can do as well that ties to the data itself. And finally, we have cell references used in calculations. And that's the true power of how a spreadsheet works. Because when you have cell references like V2 and you start tying cells together in formulas, that is fantastic. Try to do that on paper. Talk about slow. Having that all automated without any programming just by making cell references, fantastic. It, it gets you to arrive at solutions really quickly for complex problems. That is how a spreadsheet works in a nutshell. Thank you for watching. And please, if you found this video helpful, click like and be sure to subscribe.